Hello, and a good frosty morning to you from Peelahatchee Bay. It's a Tuesday morning, and it's cold, and it's time to go vote. I did it on the way. I'm Bobby Cleveland with Pearl River Valley Water Supply District, and this is our second Giant Salvinia update. The temperature today is in the 30s, and while it's cold, it's not quite the kind of frigid weather we need in our battle against the Salvinia, but it helps. So every little bit of cold, freezing weather helps, um, especially as the water gets lower. The lake has been lowered about 1.3 feet from our average pool. Today it stands at 296.2 feet above mean sea level. Uh, we're hoping to go down another uh, seven or eight inches to 295.5 sometime in mid-December and then really just hang on and wait out the Arctic blast that we hope we'll get. Um, the, the cold weather will also help with another weed problem which is hyacinth and alligator grass. If you have a house on the south shore of Peelahatchee Bay, you probably had some blow across from the north shore over the last two weeks as we've had those cold fronts coming in. It's just hyacinth and it's just alligator weed. We appreciate the phone calls and the pictures. We've had them all investigated. The Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks weed control team has checked everyone out, every area in the bay. They have found no new Salvinia outbreaks. That's great news. Um, the, um, uh, they still have over 4,000 feet of boom out surrounding all the areas that have the salvinia. Uh, that's why we are confident that while the uh, hyacinth and alligator weed that was outside the containment area was able to blow across the lake, we think we kept the salvinia contained. There have been no breakdowns in that, in that situation. Um, the wildlife continues to spray and spray hard the north shore areas of Peelahatchee Bay. They're seeing good results. They've seen it turn from green to brown and now we're just hoping that the cold weather and the lower water levels will help finish off to do the job. Uh, the high something alligator weed became a problem upriver over the past uh, three weeks. It's an annual thing where it breaks loose and flows down the river and we had a bad timing. The worst thing that could possibly happen is when it got down close to Highway 43 and began to jam up against the rocks, we had a change in north wind. It blew it all into the Goshen Springs boat landing and completely clogged up the harbor and all three ramps. Our crews went to work, fashioned out a track hole with a homemade or shop made basket to go out and scoop and they took over 25 or 30 dump truck loads out of the water and safely disposed of it. Uh, they have kept used the same device to keep it open and will continue to do so. Uh, Pearl River Valley Water Supply District hopes you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. We hope you have great holidays ahead and we hope to hear more good news about Giant Salvinia in the future. Thank you.